inadequate. There is no other word. When I first heard the term asexual, I thought it couldn't apply to me. Though my body didn't crave sexuality quite yet, I was young, convinced my hormones hadn't kicked in. The feeling would come, and that would be the solution. Calm, relaxed, patient. But when I stopped to think about it, it became impossible to deny. I was 17, and it was the summer before my senior year when someone first explained to me what it means to be asexual. It was so foreign, and I immediately rejected the term. No, I couldn't be. One day soon, I would join the League of Adults, ready for all the intimacies of a relationship. Soon, I would stop being afraid of getting close to somebody. And yet, the more I thought about it, the more separate I began to feel from my friends. I used to think that all the sex-related conversations they had while I sat and quietly listened were exaggerated or made in good humor, but once I knew what asexual meant, I realized they weren't being hyperbolic about the impulses we would have in the future. Gradually, I realized that all the jokes my friends had been making weren't actually jokes at all. People my age honestly feel this way. Sex-driven, capricious, erotic. It's not that my hormones hadn't kicked in yet. It's that these impulses don't occur inside me at all. I'm different. Sometimes inadequate. The more and more I thought about the word asexual, the more I noticed the differences between myself and others. Where others can interact so easily and converse so freely about lascivious details meant to be private, I feel confused, awkward, uncomfortable, and left out. As though I can't connect with my friends in the same way that everybody else can. As though I can't connect with anyone in the same way that everybody else can. It's like we're all scratching away at the same connect-the-dot drawing, but my lights are turned out, and I can't find a light switch. Asexual means that I don't want a sexual relationship with anybody. People find that hard to understand. I think it's because, for them, sex is such a natural part of life and such an overwhelming desire, it seems impossible that anybody could want to live without it. Yet, the idea of being that close to somebody makes me squirm. The idea that whoever I date might want to take that step drives a wave of panic through my body. My muscles tense up and I remove myself from the situation because that seems like the most effective method of shielding myself. But what most people don't understand is that being asexual doesn't mean that I'll never want a relationship. There's a difference between a sexual relationship and a romantic relationship. I consider myself hetero-romantic. Romantic relationships are all the kissing and cuddling and hand-holding and talking and spending time together and more, while sexual relationships are, well, I'm sure you can figure that out. Most people want both. Asexuals don't. That's all it means. I just want someone to lay with. I want the heat of their hands to warm my freezing fingers. I want someone I can sit and construct puzzles with. Someone I can talk to. Someone I can laugh with. Someone who I can look at and think about and not feel the knee-shaking terror tighten in my chest. Who doesn't want to make me pull my arms in close to me the knuckles of my thumbs resting on my bottom lip to protect myself. I know that people think that it feels good, but whenever I think about sex, about it actually happening, my stomach turns. I feel queasy and my brain flattens. One dimensional, no control. 
The arms I fold into my body, I imagine being ripped from my body, exposing me. The vulnerability, I, I can't help but thinking that no matter how indifferent my body may be towards sex, people always want more. They like drinking Pepsi, but I'm a glass of water because I want to live without sex. But they, they consider it a vital part in a relationship. The last note in a scale or the final ingredient in a recipe. I can't live with you wanting more from me than I can possibly give. I don't know how to handle it knowing that you'll always want more. It makes me feel so inadequate. But that doesn't stop people from questioning the validity of who I am. They operate under the assumption that they know more about me than I do. That it's not natural for me to be this way, so there must be something wrong with me. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my age. No, it's not because my brain isn't fully developed yet. No, I don't have a brain tumor. No, this isn't just a phase. No, I don't need to experiment. No, it's not because I haven't met the right person yet. No, I don't just need to get laid. Sexuality is not a choice. It's an orientation. You're not built the same way, so you don't understand, so that must mean that I'm wrong. But even though I can't understand how anybody could want to be so intimate, to be so irrevocably close to someone else, that doesn't mean that I won't believe you. I need you to trust that I know more about myself than you do. Because every time you challenge me, or question me, or misunderstand me, I feel so inadequate.